Hey there, this is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. And I wanted to show you a great tool that is really not mentioned much. I'm surprised in the, on the uh, YouTube channels. This is uh, the unsung hero and everyone should own one of these. And the company is Keydex. Let me take it apart here. It's, it's made by Keydex and it's called the Spin Out. Now you have a little brass bushing, see? Really, this is nicely made. <laughs> I like it. It's welded, so it's square to the surface. When you get your, your screwdriver right in here, in the arbor, because that's what this is for, screwing out mortise cylinders. And we just love these things, right? I mean, they're everywhere. They're on storefront doors. They're in commercial buildings. I, I love mortise cylinders. They're, they're a great way to, to pin up and or lock a building up. So, so here's what we're going to do with this today. We're going to explain a little bit about the great tool here I have in my hand, the spin out, and why you should own it. Because, uh, you know, everybody does. But here, let me show you why. First of all, let's say you have a cylinder you purchased from, well, one of these companies, you know, General Lock. You know, they're, they're kind of a, a knockoff cylinder of sorts, uh, LSDA. You can you can get these all over. These cylinders, they're, they're already keyed up. And the problem with these, though, and you really don't realize it till you're, you're working with them, is these screws have to be tight. And let me show you why. If they're not, let me just loosen this up a little bit. When you stick your key in, say you did the all the right things and you pinned it up properly and recut the key with your code key machine, code cutter. You gotta have that. And the key doesn't come out. And you go, oh man, what is going on? And you're new to the, the field and you can't get the key out. You go, man, what is wrong with this cylinder? I did everything right. I cut this key to code and I don't get it. Well, the problem is these screws have to be tight. If, if it's not tight, here's, let me explain to you what happens. This plug lines up with the, the top part of the pin chambers, right? So the plug has the, the uh, pins, the bottom pins, and then you have the top driver pins. And when this key is installed, right, put in here, and when you pull on it, the chambers no longer line up properly with the top chambers. And so you get a jam. And boy, that, that can just be frustrating. So the, the screwdriver is not a, not a great tool for this. And everybody has these, right? This is an old one from one of the, one of the box stores. And let me just show you something here. I tighten it up right and I slip. That's not cool. This is almost brand new tip here. Well, maybe not brand new. I like to think of it as brand new. We should probably pitch that. But you really don't need a brand new screwdriver. All you need is this tool. You can apply a lot of force and you just push it down. <laughs> Things are falling around here. Push down and tighten up that cylinder. Just beautiful. Tail pieces all on there. Great. And now it comes out. I have a very aggressive cut here. Look at how easy it comes out. So if that cylinder, this little chamber is not tight enough, you can't get the key out. So let's let's just see, let's see what comes from the factory. So I've got this cylinder, another one, LSDA, and see there's screws in it and it's loose. Ah, 
ay, ay, ay. So you, you got to tighten it up, right? And you're going to mung up them screws. I promise you. So you just have this on your truck. You tighten up the screws quite easily with this little beauty. This spin out by Kedex. And you got it. Now, I've got it real tight. And the keys that came with it are in here. Let's test them. Now, I didn't code cut these keys. You should always go code cut the key. Ah, uh -huh. it works. So these keys, the reason I'm saying go code cut them, they, they come from the factory and they're not cut properly. And you're going to have all kinds of problems if you go to duplicate this. So, so always, you know, open up your boxes of uh, pre-pinned up and keyed cylinders and go code cut them. I highly suggest it. So you can pick this beauty up at your local locksmith stores. And another thing, you should go to Keydex and sign up for their newsletter. It's imperative. You need to know what they have, right? And they'll send you out little flyers all the time and you'll love it. So you can go to Lockpicks. I think I got this at Lockpicks for just about 70 bucks. So wait for, for them to come on sale. And you can see why they probably called it the spin out. It, everything works so nicely on it. Highly suggest you buying this tool and having, you could buy a couple of them if they're on sale. Have one in your in your shop, in your pinning room, and one in your truck. That way you're not hauling them back and forth. So go get yourself one quick. And they do sell out. I saw on most of these sites today, they're selling out really quick if they're on sale. So go have fun. Love this tool. It'll make your life a lot easier. And oh, please hit the like button and subscribe. There's more videos to come and I need your help to be able to do that. Thank you.